friends, this time from Dubai International Airport. Uh, we are on our way to Mahaba refugee camp in Zambia. And uh, in Refugee Alliance, we work for refugees to give hope from God, especially to those who have experienced terrible things. We want to give them extreme kindness, extreme goodness when they have experienced extreme evil. Uh, today, I just wanted to encourage you. It's soon 1st November. It's November 1st, tomorrow morning when you wake up and many of us, we have gone through things that have kind of stuck with us. So maybe you are trying to get kind of loose from something. Maybe there is something that you want to change in your life. Maybe God has called you and you haven't really jumped into it, but you're still stuck. Then I will challenge you that tomorrow, November 1st, will be your D-Day, when everything will change. So, uh, say with me, uh, my past is finished. The new thing is coming. My past is finished. I'm done with that. Uh, I'm going forward. So, my past is finished. My new thing is coming. Okay, good. So uh, you can say that to yourself because God says that the one who follows him, he will make everything new for him. In 2 Corinthians 5, 17, he says, uh, the old has passed away, the new has come. And it is for you. If you want to follow Jesus, you can know that your past is finished. If you have sins that cling to you and it's difficult to live, Try one more time, just leave it. You will have the help of God now. And uh, everything is forgiven in the past. This is the free gift of God to those who want to follow Jesus. So don't give up, my dear, don't give up. Say to yourself, hmm, up till here, but no more. My past is over. I leave it in October. In November, I go uh, for the new thing. So may God bless you and I want to pray for you and don't give up even if you tried 100 times try the 101st time don't give up because it's so worth it what you leave behind is nothing compared to the joy and the blessing that you will have when you follow Jesus it's worth it it's worth it don't give up father I thank you for your love you are a good father you cheer on us you give us strength to leave our old life behind so we, Lord, we repent of everything, we leave it behind, and we will follow you. We will follow your calling. And I pray, Lord, for my friends who are watching, that you will give them strength and wisdom and vision and hope. Father, I thank you for your forgiveness that cleanses us from all unrighteousness and gives us purpose. I ask, Lord, for my friends, that you will come to them, cleanse and give them purpose so that everything is new from today. I thank you in Jesus' name. So, with much love from uh, Dubai, beautiful airport, and uh, remember you're not alone. And I'll see you in a new video tomorrow. First November, all this finished, new things are coming.